This is Cindy Manier from Adudo Book Creator. In this video, I demonstrate how to use our new ledger tool. This tool is perfect for creating logbooks, trackers, and ledger type low content books. To get to the tool, click on Other Tools, Ledger Tool. You can add a title to the page by clicking in the box under Page Title and typing what you want the title to say. You can change the font that you want for the title by clicking on the drop down under Select Font. You can also decide whether you want it to be center, left justified, or right justified. You can select how many rows you want to have by clicking in the box under number of rows and typing the number. You can do the same thing under number of columns to indicate how many columns you want. Set first row special to yes to set a different row height for the first row. You can also do the same thing for column to set a different column width for the first column. Change the numbers under first column width and first row height to get those first columns and rows the way you want them. To add headings to your rows and or your columns, select yes under the headings question marks underneath the rows or the columns sections. I want to add headers to my columns, so I'm going to click on yes, and then in the box I can type the headings that I want for each column. You want to separate them onto different row for each one of your columns. I can select the font size, the font I want to use, and how I want to align each one of the column headers. This tool works for all of the different trim sizes. Let's switch this to a 6 by 9 page. And I want to fill a page a little bit more, so I'm going to adjust the fill page size. That was too much. Let's pull it back down a little bit. There, I like that. Now I can click on Download PDF to get an Upload Ready Interior. There it is. It contains 100 pages and they're all exactly the same. Now let's say I wanted to change it so that on the right side of the page I had the date over on the right, but on the left side of the page I had the date over the, on the left. So I can do that by saving this design to my files. Let's give it a name. I call it Medication Right. So I know this one goes on the right side of the page. And then I can just go and change the line text to Left Justify. And now I can save that as Medication Left. So I know that this is the one that goes on the left side of the page. If I go to my files, you will see that both of those pages have been saved. And now I can go into the Journal Builder tool and create a book that alternates those two pages. So from the Journal Builder tool, you're going to do an Add a Section. I want this to be 6 by 9 size. So you want to add a subsection so you can alternate these two pages. So I have all of my files here, so I'm going to put the right page first because the first page is always going to be on the right side and then the left page. I'm going to alternate these 50 times to get 100 pages total and I can click on download PDF and get my file. And there it is. You can see the pages are alternated. And then I can take this interior and upload it to KDP. And here's what it looks like in the print previewer on KDP. I'm going to show you another example that will demonstrate how to add text to both the columns and the rows at the same time. Let's start off by adding a title. This one I'm going to do like a business expense type tracking page. So let's just call this business expense for my title. I can change the font that I'm using and I can also change the font size. And I can adjust how much of the page that I'm filling up with my fill page length. Now I'm going to change the number of rows. I'm going to have 30 rows. I'm going to leave it with two columns. 
And now I want to add my heading. So I'm going to change heading to yes. I want to have a total as my heading. And then I can change the alignment because I'm going to want it to be over on the left and I can change my font to get it the way I want it and now I want the total to be on the very last row so to get it there I need to hit return 29 times since I have 30 rows so every time you have an, a blank row it will put nothing in there for that particular row Next, I'm going to add the headings for each one of my columns. So I'm going to put the headings to yes, and then I'm going to type in what I want the headings to be. I can then adjust the font, the font size, the alignment if I want to, to get everything just the way I want it. Next, I'm going to set first column special to yes, so I can make that first column wider. And you do that by changing the number under first column width. And you can play with it until you get it just the way you want it. And then you can click on the download PDF button and download your PDF. If you have any questions about how to use this tool, please leave a comment below or ask them in our Facebook group.